I can ask, I can ask Russell. I don't know enough to Yeah, I don't think, I don't think they can't your all right, so we made it, guys. We are here at Record Riot. Uh, they're actually doing this in the back of a restaurant. I've even got Stephanie here from Sound Exchange joining me. So we're going to have a good time. Anthony's hanging around. Joe's here. So we're going to check things out. Uh, let's go see what we can find today. So I'm here with Anthony. What have you found? It's a white zombie? Doji. Glow in the dark nice. from 92. Blue Ass Press. Ooh, oh, you already picked it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were just walking over here to show me. No, I'm walking over to oh. say I'm already going deep. Nice. What else are we going to find? Yeah. Well, <laughs> No one, no record. 
Here I get nervous. And I don't see you, Jake, I guess. <laughs> All right, everyone, look. So I ran into one of my viewers, Jose from Jersey City, is here. Uh, this is pretty cool, right? You're telling me about this place here, and then he's telling me about another place, Irish Records. Pretty close by. So I think I'm going to go check that out. I know I'm going to let you go check out the records because you just got here, right? I just got here. Yeah. Just literally got here. Oh, okay. And so, I was just like walking, I, I was like, hey, I know that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is cool. I'm really glad that I ran into you and that you could be here and join me on this. I see what you find. You'll have to uh, leave comments about it. Too. Oh, definitely. All right, man. All right, Anthony, so we made it through. You've got an enormous amount there. Cool stuff. Tell us what you got. All right, I'm going to go through my personal stuff. Go through the personal stuff. We showed this before. Ah, uh, yes. Now I'm. That was I'm, a cool find. I'm not overtly in love with... I've never been in love with this record, but it brings yeah. me back to the time when it came out. Mm -hmm. And it's fucking awesome. And it's yeah. the first press, so that's, that's the asshole in me. It's like, <laughs> I, I need the first press, man. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's for a friend. Oh, uh, okay. I'm not a Pink Floyd fan. Sorry, guys. Ah, but you like Momentary Lapse of Reason. It's a fucking perfect record. Yeah, I'm not a Pink Floyd fan, but I love Momentary Lapse of Reason. Sisters of Mercy. Oh, God, yes. Okay, so these are mint promos. Cool. So I'm just going to swap out my copies. Okay. I'd rather have the mint promos. Yeah. These are, I've, I've never touched any of these records. In this general, are promos worth more than just a standard pressing? I like them better, and yeah. I like to think that they were the first ones off of the plates. Yeah. You know, they're the first ones pressed because you're going to press those first so they get out of the warehouse first right. to the uh, independent record stores that used to get free records to spin to right. sell the product and radio stations. Right. And on the label itself, it says for promotional use only. Right. So it's definitely different. True. Some records I collect promo and the All right. regular ones. Right. All right. Oh, man. What else is in this bag? Okay, now this is a heavy bag. Ah. Here, I'll come over here. First pressing, Ooh. mono. And mono? Nice. With the model photograph that caused the controversy and had to remove it. Ooh. You'll have to show me that. I'm not familiar with it. Original press of Wu-Tang Forever. Okay. I love this album. I like the jump from Bob Dylan to Wu-Tang Clan. This is great. <laughs> this is awesome. There was a pressing of this record that had shitty mixes. 
This is that. When you listen yes. to it, it's unlistenable. Yes, it's I garbage. know. It's garbage. I have it. I had to buy it. I have it I as well. <laughs> um, you gotta have it for, for the collection. <laughs> yeah, I, you see, I throw the rush yeah. right away. I don't yeah, know it. yeah. Johnny Taylor. Ah. If you don't know this guy, I find do. this guy. Okay. This record's not in the best condition, but it's an original copy. and Just like a soul R&B guy? Yeah. Okay. And it's, it's just it's fucking, this is, I love this record. <laughs> I'm going to say that about everything, right? right. No, seriously, <laughs> find this record. All right. Uh, I don't know why I need to buy another Billy Idol uh, record. Yes, you need Billy Idol, of course. I of don't course. know why I needed to buy another Bangles record. Ah. I have them, I think. <laughs> yeah. But I think these are might be mint, so that's why I bought those. Nice. That's pretty much it. That's great, man. Yeah. And the rest of that is surprise stuff for the store. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Come into the store and see. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, I got to cherry pick it first because there's some there's some Blondie 12 inches yeah. in there that I don't have. Some Tom Petty 12 inches that I don't have. So there's a 50-50. 50-50. Maybe if the store is lucky. Awesome. All right. So I think I did pretty good at the record show as well. Uh, I didn't do as much. I got six, I think, here. So most of you guys know I've been on a Michael Stanley band kick. And unfortunately, Sonny Shapes didn't have any for me yesterday. We don't! No! I'm sorry! I don't have any. I even checked with Ted, who knows everything. And there's no zero. None. Yeah. Sorry, man. Yeah. No, it's cool, man. I found a sealed copy of George Thurgood, more George Thurgood, so second album that he did, missing from my collection. One day I'd like to get it on CD. I'll start with it on vinyl. When you find it on CD, if you want to part with that vinyl, I'll take it. Okay. Um, all right, so I've also been into JoJo Gunn. And uh, the guitarist, Jay Ferguson, I bought two of his albums last week, and I found the third one, also sealed. Awesome cover. Yeah. Oh, and this is one I've been trying to hunt down for some time now. Finally got a hold of it. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Allies. I think this is half live, half studio, but I know there's some studio either way, so I'm definitely interested in that. And to go along with it, Steven Stills, Right By You. Nice little 80s album there. That's a promo. Yeah. I know. I like those too. <laughs> All right, this is my my big fault. Ginger Baker's Air Force Two. So the big album that they put out was the first one, a live one. But this is their one and only studio album that they made. So Ginger Baker, Cream. We've got Adrian Gurevitz from uh, Gun and a number of other projects that he did. Got that one. So there you go. Got some good stuff. Anthony, you got some good stuff. Now it's time to go home and enjoy it. Another great day.